Good morning, everyone, Creator Mom. I made a longer video about this, but I'm going to condense this idea. So the scripture that talks about being a slave to God versus being a slave to the world, right? Don't be a slave to the world, be a slave to Christ, be a slave to righteousness. I want to talk about what I think this means. In no way do I think that this scripture is referring to outer performances, like if you go to the club every night, if you do drugs, if you drink alcohol, then you're a slave to the world. Um, sure, people who do those things may be a slave to the world, but it is not what, what I believe that being a slave to the world is. And being a slave to God, being a slave to Christ is not going to church every Sunday, getting out your Bible every morning and like praying. And maybe people who do that are slaves to God, but let's see, because you can be doing those outer performances, but being a slave to the world at the same time. So what I think that it means is that where are you coming from in your internal perspectives, okay? Are you allowing the outer world to determine who you are? That's being a slave of the world. If you're, when you're a slave of the world, you're always coming from a positioning of lack. You are not, and you must do these things that are on the outer world, that are in the dead world, in order to try to uh, make you become what it is you want to be. Um, so I have to do exercises in order to be skinny. Okay, now, well, now you're a slave to exercise. You're a slave to the world now because you're coming from a positioning of lack. You're using something in your 3D in order to become something. You are now a slave of the world. Versus when you're a slave to God, when you are a slave to Christ, you are always coming from a positioning of you already have. I mean, you already believe. You're coming from I am. So whatever it is you desire to be, you decide I am. I am already what I desire to be, whatever it is that may be. And in ways you know not how, these things will resurrect themselves in your life as you go about your life doing what it is that you do and taking whatever inspired actions that you take. Um, yeah, God makes a way where there seems to be no way. You and God are one. Neville Goddard likes to say God is your con very consciousness. God is your very awareness of being God the Father. And your conceptions of yourself are the Son. Jesus said the Father is greater than I because the conceiver is greater than the conception. So that is what I think in a nutshell it means to be a slave of the world versus being a slave to Christ. When you're a slave to Christ, you never lack. You understand that all things have already been given to you, given to you in Christ Jesus. You are seated in heavenly places and you understand that your assumptions become your reality. So when you don't like your reality, you go inside, you go into the inner work, and you change your assumptions of yourself. If you want to be strong, no longer are you internally coming from a place that you are weak. You cannot. The two do not go together. You will become a slave of the world if you do not change your inner assumptions of who you are.